Friday night, Texas League Baseball in Tulsa, Oklahoma at beautiful One Oak Field where finally the Tulsa Drillers were able to play a full game of baseball after six days in a row of rain delays and cancellations due to poor weather. The conditions Friday night were so perfect, the Drillers and the Arkansas Travelers decided to play too. Before we get to that though, so much fun was had in Drillville during each of the contests in front of a raucous crowd of more than 8,500 fans. Justin and the Drillers set out to shatter the world record for consecutive high fives and, of course, succeeded. Boasting 4,769 total high fives compared to the old record of merely 1,700. Also, the new hit game in downtown Tulsa called Bounce Around yielded more good times. Let's flash back to June 4th of the season when a promo team member, who will remain nameless, got obliterated on the field by one of the Bounce Around contestants. The promo team member jumped up like nothing happened and like she hadn't even remembered it. Back to Friday night's game. Justin hadn't forgotten what happened. He was ready to take on all challengers and to defend his promo squad. My goodness, they left their feet. <laughs> Don't come at me like that. Don't come at me like that. <laughs> okay, on to the real stuff. Game one of the doubleheader started off on the wrong foot for Tulsa. In the first, with a 1-0 lead early and the bases loaded, the Travelers' Eric Stamets hits one deep into left field. It's caught by left fielder Adam Law, but it's deep enough to score Zach Wright on the play and Arkansas goes up 2-0. In the sixth, 4-0 Travs now, and one of the umpires gets a little overheated, causing a six-minute delay in the game where Drillers pitcher Rudy Owens takes full advantage and adds cameraman to his resume. The umpire would be okay, though they still played it safe and finished the game with just two officials. Tulsa finally got on the board in the seventh when Sean Zaraga belted an RBI double to left center, scoring Kyle Farmer, but the second place Travelers took game one, four to one. Arkansas spot starter Michael Brady got the win, pitching a gym with six and two thirds under his belt, giving up five hits, allowing just one run and striking out four. Oh, but there was more free, fun baseball to be played. Game two started off on a little bit better note for the Drillers, due in large part to starting pitcher Chris Anderson, Anderson finished up a strong night going six and two-thirds inning himself, striking out five and giving up just two runs. Tulsa also got a little bit of help from Lars Anderson in the second. Anderson sent his seventh home run out of one of the deepest parts of the stadium to give Tulsa a 1-0 lead. And then in the third, it was the Drillers' Kyle Farmer, who struck one past the fences, and honorary substitute play-by-play -play guy Bruce Howard had the call. Straight, straight balls. If you're the batter, do you look for something right down the middle and try to crush it, or do you really have to take the pitch? Here's the delivery. Curveball hit high in the air. Deep left field. Going back is Myers. Myers looks up. It's a home run. Left center field. He took that first pitch and nailed it to left center. With the Drillers up 4-0 and coasting to victory, it was the Travelers' Blake Galen and Anthony Bimboom hitting solo homers in the fourth and fifth, respectively, to bring Arkansas back into the game. But in the bottom of the fifth, Farmer was at it again. A two RBI double to deep right center gave Tulsa a 5-1 lead and helped polish off a Game 2 victory for Tulsa. After Game 2, Drillville was once again rewarded with a gorgeous Friday Night Fireworks spectacular and everyone went home happy. So Tulsa, despite a 28-37 record on the season, has played pretty well over the last two weeks and are preparing to take the second half by storm. With just two weeks left in the first half of the season, the Drillers are just looking to pick up a winning mentality within the star-studded Los Angeles Dodgers organization. The final games of the homestand come in the form of another doubleheader, followed by another fireworks show. All the fun begins Saturday night in Drillville at 7.05.